Christmas, everybody. Uh, like I said before, I'm uh, recording this right after the Christmas Eve movie, or Christmas Eve movie, yeah, Christmas Eve episode of, and also my first ever, like, book reading on the platform, and because, like, this, the, I'm, I'm, I'm only changing up my, uh, language and, like, what I, some of the more controversial things that I s say in, <sighs> that was what was, okay, hopefully nothing else is touching that vent, or whatever, anyway. Uh, because of, this is more of a, um, I'm, I'm trying to be careful what, with what I'm saying because these, these, the Christmas is for kids mostly, mostly. Um, I mean, I am drinking eggnog with Christmas cheer in it. I finished it. But because of this, uh, uh, these two, these, this, holiday and certain other holidays are going to be more child friendly and kid friendly and then like when, when uh, I'm also doing some book book reading like I'm going to be reading and mostly all I have is kids books and mostly all I'm going to read is kids books because I'd rather not read <laughs> other books and especially I don't want to do like long episodes of the or like multiple multiple um episodes on a certain book because uh you know but yes um christmas is for uh family and um you know but i mean don't if you if you don't have a family or don't have friends or Whatever, don't be sad. I don't have friends now either. And I'll explain in the nicest way possible kind of why. I mean, it's I've been talking nonstop about it. Whenever people bring it up or whenever those certain friends cannot stop bothering me. Um, and I would love to do random Christmas stuff. I don't have anyone in the house to bug. I mean, it's me and the cat here. So, in the beginning of this year, and I'm only telling you this also because, like, I'm saying that, that there's always worse, but there's always better, basically, around the corner. You have to just take the good with the bad kind of thing. So, yes, I kind of have, all kind of, have no... Uh, friends to like celebrate this with or celebrate Christmas or my birthday or their birthdays or anything like that with which I'm okay with I'm doing fine on my own I'm doing I'm happy I would love to record for certain people not anyone that I used to record with for the most part I mean those days have long long gone or the time has passed our relationships kind of well, they didn't kind of naturally end. They kind of abruptly ended in, in the in a whirlwind of torture. Uh, is that okay to say? Anyway, but j so when you uh, basically, I guess the moral of the story is don't get your, don't be down because. Well, you have, uh, if you have no one, if you're in an orphanage, even though I have made fun of people in an orphanage before, and, and, and that's, and this is also me breaking character. Any of these, like, ones that I'm, I'm not being my normal gimmick, my normal self on YouTube, like the book, when I read books, with everybody and I have a big bookshelf full of them these are meant for and I'm gonna like I say a breaking character I'm not being my normal self purposely because 
I want to do something else as well. I don't want to just be the bad guy. Which uh, you have to also weigh your options. Like I think I will got too way uh, way too into the bad guy gimmick. Uh, for anyone's sake, I think I would have been worse than any other like bad heel on the the platform of like where I actually got the heel and babyface persona from. So. Yeah, I want the I want some I wanna broaden my audience, I wanna to different things, I wanna do certain things and all I have is children's books. Basically. For the most part. I mean it, I have one here. I have a bunch in the back room, I have some on the the uh, audible and things. But I think I would rather read most of them to, uh, to you guys. So that, um, well, you get my commentary. Because yes, or what would have been yesterday's video for you guys. As of uploading this. So. Or as of you guys hopefully watching on Christmas Day of 2022. December 25th. Um. Also, happy holidays to those of you that do not celebrate Christmas. I kind of cadaver in Christmas. Yes, I don't have. I also don't have any Christmas decorations up. It's hard with a cat. But um, I mean, Christmas can always be worse. I mean, I tweeted out recently that it's. This is where it gets a little bit dark. But I'm gonna be careful with I'm gonna try to be careful with it with what I say but I think everybody should hear this including young kids because well I've had those thoughts for a while going through school and stuff so I want people to learn from my mistakes or learn from my experiences so please uh, parents if you're watching don't be too alarmed I'm trying to help instead of because uh, if you if you know what's going through your child's mind uh, during during school, this could be a teach, or if you don't know, this could be a teaching moment for you guys too. Are you parents? It's too many pronouns. I'm sorry. Um. So it it would have been seven. Yeah, seven years. Roughly on the fifth. Before, the day before my birthday, um, I would have been 18, and I would have been, well, the fun my funeral would have been on my birthday uh, at age 18. If I was, if I, and I ha was a lot stronger than most people to say this to myself and kind of correct myself for the rest of the time, and that's why I'm here. That's why YouTube was started. That's why all this was started. Um, I think it was 2016, 17. I don't. I forget now when I started YouTube. Um, um, but I had I had b bad thoughts. Basically, is the easiest, understandable way to because of certain people at school certain staff members, certain principals, certain teachers. Um, and I noticed that in most schools, from what I've been to, now I would never go in, I would, if I was asked to go talk at a, at a school, I would never step foot in another school again. Um, even though people have tried. Uh, but, um, yeah, I would not have been here to this day, and YouTube would have never been a thing uh, seven years ago. So Christmas for me is always hard. Also, my Oma died around Christmas. Actually, she, her funeral was on my birthday. She died on the 3rd of December, about uh, in 2007. I was nine years old. Um... 
and her funeral was on my birthday. Now she purposely planned it out, or she wanted to die on my birthday, but she instead her funeral was in. Uh, it, that there was a clause that if if she died before my birthday, her funeral would be on my birthday, and then we went home to my opa's place at the time because my old one just passed. Um, and celebrated my birthday, opened up gifts, you know. Um, hard, hard, hard for me then. So there was a lot going, and there's always a lot riding on my birthday week. Now that does also a, a pull th all the way through to Christmas. Where I, um, um, I'm now in the mindset that I suggest if if you or if you or your kids and your kids should be in therapy anyway not to say that 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 in a mean way or a negative way or anything like to cause any problems kids need to vent to someone just as much as parents do just as much as everybody else needs to um and having someone to talk through it, I never had it as a kid. I suggest most kids have someone to go talk to. Um, same as like parents and families in general. Because, well, my family was very divided. Along, uh, still, even though most of them are no, like... Half the, the party isn't, ha or one side of the party is not around anymore, for the most part. Um, there's, our family's still very divided. Uh, and I don't take any sides in any of the, any uh, family situations. I don't need that in my life. But... Being able to talk certain situations through and try to find um, a positive way to end a certain bad situation to or make it good or something or or like try to flip verse it basically is what I'm saying like flip it on its head kind of thing and basically uh, maybe turn a negative into a positive or something like that. Like, take it, uh, opportunity always comes knocking, whether or not you make it positive or negative. Uh, and positive or negative experience is one thing. This is starting to turn into a rant, so I do apologize. I don't mean to. I'm basically saying, spend time with your family, pull out board games, pull out computer games. If you, all your family is very tech savvy and, like, um, into all that. I hope that my future family with my kids and my wife and, or girlfriend or whatever, however I choose to, or we choose to um, christen the relationship, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. Christen, get your parents to explain what christening means. Um, and the parents are watching, I mean like signing papers to say that it say if you're legally married or not or whatever or live in common law not anything you know <laughs> that wasn't my point um or adults i mean it by signing paperwork or actually having a ceremony i'm more fluent in that more woke where i might just like sign a common law order or something or whatever living in common law because um my beliefs on marriage is uh a positive one where not everybody can get married or is allowed to get married so why i i don't feel like i should do that because it's in support of them basically maybe one day when a long ways down the line we can or me and my significant other eventually can uh 
change that when it's more accepted for everybody to get married regardless of you know anyway I'm, I'm, that's a tangent for another time another video and not especially not one for kids anyway so my point is uh, have a Merry Christmas and let's make this a good one without any fear oh my goodness Am I just, I'm just references all the time. Anyway, make it a good one, make it positive. Um, I mean, I, I have so many other things that are more personal that I'm not going to release to the public uh, that are happening this year, especially around Christmas. A lot of issues, a lot of problems. Just... And I, I'm still going fine. I'm still dancing. I was dancing in the yesterday's video as of you, as of uploading this because I'm uploading it again on Christmas of 2022, Christmas Day of 2022. So the New Year's video, I was dancing. I've, I've had so many problems this year. I've had people uh, lie about me, steal from me. You know, I, I, I've had many, many, like, other issues that I don't want to even get into. And probably for legal reasons, I shouldn't either. But I'm still going strong. And... I would suggest... As someone who has gone through a, being a child for the last, well, some people might say, still say in, in some cases I am still a child at 25 years old. A quarter of my life, um, but um, I would say just go and talk to your kids. Ask them if they're doing okay. Ask them what if anything bo is bothering them ask them if they're sad angry or mad because uh, to me mad and angry are two different things because angry is way is the next level to mad or frustrated mad and uh, just other words that are in between there but there's a lot of different i've had my hard drive mess up uh, with a lot of recordings I use the proper, I've been very careful this, these two videos. There's a lot that, that I could have been very, very mad or angry or sad or multiple different things that I could have been, had a problem with. Yes, my Twitter is a gong show, G O. N G, I think gong. I like an instrument, but I mean, with the moderator there, I'm. He gets more savage than me, which is fine, but um, because I rather I rather be mostly try to post the good stuff, the positive stuff, post things like positive poems like Hope by Emma Dickinson or Dickens whatever her name is um there's other poems that uh another positive things that I posted there was there's always I know the poems and stuff are automatic so uh the poems and lyrics to songs that are positive are always automatic when they're posting uh, or when it's posted, it's not the moderator, it's not me, it's just something I've set up, pre-set up, um, because I, eventually, uh, you'll start seeing repeats every, like, 365.2 days or something, it's just, it, it's just for a lot of people to be reminded to be positive, more positive, and then I have a moderator that posts all the craziness that I used to post, but he gets way worse than me. But in any case, thank you guys. I think I'm done here. I just wanted to post something nice, and so and it's set up board games with your family this Christmas, card games, 
online games if you you're playing online with people even you can even do if, nowadays you can either facetime your friends and actually move the pieces for them if you're doing a car or board game card games might not work as well because a lot of card games you need you know and then you just talk to them and ask them what their decision is uh, there's a there's zoom there's other ways of doing Christmas nowadays I mean look at all the uh, look at all like the, the pictures of people sitting at the table with eating with their family but their family uh, from like 2019 2020 2021 however long like the lockdown was that that they spent Christmas like that I was fortunate enough to still go to see family um, because well we were just more careful or some other reasons that I'm not gonna get into because of politics which I don't want to get into um, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, there's many different ways of doing Christmas. If you, uh, like, if you live a long distance away, just, just invite family in. You, I mean, you can, in Zoom calls, you can have one screen only. You, I mean, you don't own, need all the screens in the world to enjoy Christmas together. Like, Zoom has, like, you, you look through one camera. Like this, the, 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 I could have like, if I, if, if I buy Discord, uh, or any other, like the subscription based service, I use Discord and so does like most of the world nowadays in uh, YouTube and Twitch gaming. Um, also you can do it on Steam. You can actually call and video call, I think, through Steam. Uh, but, uh, you are able to basically, uh, uh, have multiple people looking through the same camera lens. I mean, you could have a call and just put on your camera. So you can have more than just one family member joining you at the table or whatever on your laptop or on your tablet or computer or whatever. However you have your setup, so play board games, hang out with family, do stuff together. You parents and their kids make gingerbread houses. My my parents never had the time to do a lot of that. We just they were just throw uh, thirty six thousand gifts under the tree for everybody, and that's kind of our Christmas, which wasn't really. That was just stuff. That was mostly clothes and well. Body, sp body perspirants and deodorant and shampoos and not a lot of like positive interaction. Gifts are so negative and that's kind of what also like a lot of like like the Grinch or the um, or how the Grinch stole Christmas. That was the premise that it's too commercialized. Uh, it shouldn't you shouldn't be forced to give a gift. Like, Secret Santa is, like, the worst thing in my opinion. I get that it's, like, positive team building for most people in, like, different uh, work groups and other things. It's so, it's so toxic, in my opinion, to, uh, uh, if, a, if someone wants to give you a gift out of love, go ahead, take it. I don't, it's not up to me. I would take it, too. I mean free stuff but it's it would be so toxic to uh, receive a gift and laud or hold that against them uh, wanting a gift in return because uh, that's just what people that absolutely hated Christmas and a lot of like other problems in the world have happened because people felt entitled which is not a great trait either. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Have a Merry Christmas. Have a, ha have a happy holidays. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I'm going to be inclusive here even though I...
don't have an opinion either way. It's not trying to make enemies here. So, um, and I'm not going to bring it up. I'm not going to even talk about it ever. Maybe, maybe I have in the past, but then, then again, that's the past. Let's always focus on either the present or, and, or the future. So focus on both if you can, if you can only focus on one, one or the other, go right ahead. Figure, figure out what you're going to do for the future. Live in, or just live in the present. Live for today kind of thing. Which is both, I do both kind of. I'm all, I'm still setting things up for the future. I think we all should. Uh, by the way, uh, people who get money for Christmas. Most of kids. Positive. Parents shouldn't even be mad at this. Parents shouldn't even like... Uh, take offense to this because uh, I'm not telling you how to parent. I'm just telling them a word of advice. Your kids a word of advice. Whatever pronouns they use. That's why I said they. Because I think that's more neutral, right? I don't know. Um, uh, save your money. Otherwise, you're going to regret it. You could save up for something big or just save your money forever. It's the best thing for you is to be able to keep your money because you're going to need it for the future. That's all I'm going to say because, well, taxes are hard. Buying houses are hard. Paying bills is hard. Um, having transportation, some way of transportation, either you pay one lump sum plus insurance every month or year or whatever, or you have to pay for every time you want to go somewhere on a bus, taxi, or Uber or whatever. Weird silliness that, uh, they can think of the subway, the trams, whatever. Streetcars, which are rare now for the most part, except in like other places. Anyways, yeah, so save your money. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye! Have I been good? Please tell me I've been good with my, my language and my, and my uh, cursing and my opinions. My, my negative, like, Hateful opinions or mean opinions. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye bye.